So welcome to another Arsenal transfer news and headlines video. This is our second video on this topic. Today we will be talking about some news regarding players leaving, players could be joining and about the match today versus Chelsea. First we'll start with the first news as apparently Barcelona are willing to sell Rafinha to Arsenal for a fee reported to be around 30 million. Rafinha has been struggling to get game time as Denis Suarez and also Arda Turan have gone in front of him. Rafinha has had 16 games this season, getting 7 goals and bagging 2 assists for Barcelona, the Catalan side. Now Gunners, would you be taking Rafinha for 30 million? We have a lot of players in that position. Would you be taking Rafinha to Arsenal for 30 million? Leave it in the comments. Our next news comes from Kieran Gibbs, the Arsenal left back, who's been struggling as well to get game time for the North London side. It is reported that Arsenal have disagreed a 10 million bid from West Bromwich Albion, and it is reported that West Bromwich Albion and two other unknown Premier League clubs are going for Arsenal left back. He is slowly and slowly aging. He's slowly losing his attributes and has reported Arsenal are holding out for a fee between 15 to 20 million. Now Gunners, would you be willing to sell Kieran Gibbs to another team, especially to a Premier League rival? Nacho Monreal is in front of him right now and with our new signing Siad Kolesinak from Schalke North Hill. Would you be taking to be selling? Would you be willing? to sell Kieran Gibbs to another Premier League club for a fee between 10 to 20 million. Leave it in the comments. Also, Kieran Gibbs has played 137 appearances, has made 137 appearances for Arsenal, bagging over two decades of goals. Now, the most important news that has been coming, it is reported that many French outlets and headlines and reports even English are saying that Alexis Sanchez, the Chilean who plays for Arsenal currently, is in Paris in a hotel where they negotiate players most of the time. He's reported to be there to negotiate a new con a new contract, not with Arsenal, but a new one with Paris Saint Germain, the French club. Now, Arsenal, would you be willing to get Sanchez to sell him right now or to sell him on a free next year? It is reported PSG are willing to bid between 70 and 80 million and are willing to offer him 400,000 a week, which is more than what Arsenal are offering, which is reported to be around 365,000 per week. But it is also reported that Alexis Sanchez's representatives want 500,000 a week. Now, Arsenal, that is serious money. For a player who's only who has only one year on his contract, his next contract, the new one he will sign, will be probably his last chance to become and win every trophy possible. Now, Arsenal, Arsenal fans, would you be selling Alexis Sanchez? Would you will to sell him for 80 million? He only has one year on his contract, but he is also vital to Arsenal. Leave it in the comments. Our next news also comes from North London, where it is reported Arsenal attacking midfielder Mesut Ozil is apparently very close to signing a new contract with Arsenal, worth around 280000 a week. Now Arsenal fans, you better get excited, but because Ozil looks and his attitude shows that he is happy at Arsenal and it is reported he might and most probably will sign a new contract with Arsenal. So far, he's had 116 appearances with Arsenal, bagging 42 assists and 23 goals for Arsenal, with 27 goals and assists last season for Arsenal. Now, Gunners, how happy are you that Mesut Ozil will hopefully sign a new contract with Arsenal? Our next news comes from Spain, where it is reported Lucas Perez could be re-signing for Deportivo La Coruña or could be signing for Turkish side Fenerbahce. A fee reported around 4 million has been bidded by Fenerbahce 
for the for the for Lucas Perez, the Spanish striker slash left wing. Now Arsenal, now Arsenal fans, don't you think a Lucas Perez deserves more playing time at Arsenal? Every time he's come on or he's played, he's been vital. He's proved a lot. Remember Bournemouth. Remember Preston North End. Remember all these games. Remember Southampton away. Remember all these games. He's stretching. Remember Ludogorets setting up Mesut Ozil's goals. He is vital. He played 22 games last season. He scored 8 goals and 3 assists. More than half of those appearances have been coming off the bench. So that is incredible stats for a player who's never played in the Champions League before last season. Man, I feel he should have been played more for Arsenal. Wenger has not had has not believed him in him. And it looks like Lucas Perez will be going elsewhere for game time. What do you think, Arsenal fans? Our next news comes from France, where it is reported Wenger is interested in Alban Lafont. He is the goalkeeper of Toulouse, the French side. He is young, has a lot of potential in real life and on FIFA. And Wenger is reported to be interested in the man. Arsenal fans, would you buy Alban Lafont? Our, sec our penultimate news comes from Stoke, where it is reported that Arsene Wenger is interested in Stoke City FC goalkeeper Jack Butland. He's had an amazing season with Stoke last season and is, he has caught the eye of a lot of top clubs. It is reported that a fee between 20 and 30 million is what Stoke City are holding out for. It is reported Jack Butland also wants to leave as he does not feel he can win anything under Stoke City. But Arsenal fans, again, same as Alban Lafont, would you sign Jack Butland at current time when we got Czech, David Ospina and Emiliano Martinez? Leave it in the comments. The last thing I want to talk about is the match today versus Chelsea. Arsenal completely capitulated from minute 40 until minute 50, conceding three goals in 10 minutes. Terrible. It, defenseless, attackless, mindless. We did not know what to do. A 3 in a loss to a Michi Batshuayi brace and a Willian cracker. They could have also had a fourth. Willian was through. Batshuayi scored a goal, which I wasn't sure if it was offside or not. But anyways, guys, what are your thoughts on the comments? Leave it down below. Subs I'm going to leave the highlights at the end of here. It's around a one-minute video of highlights of the Arsenal vs Chelsea game, mainly the goals. I couldn't capture any highlights, unfortunately. But guys, leave a comment on the video that I'm going to post now. Leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Catch you later. From right to left, just dropped a shoulder inside the box, curled it to Ospina's left, in off the post. It's a good finish. Maybe Monreal could have could have got a bit tighter, maybe a bit harder. The other side he gave the ball away. 35, 40 yards in front of goal. Just a simple pass in the middle, turn in the box. Though the Saka wasn't as tight maybe as he should have been. They just curled it wide. Cut inside. Not unchallenged. He's just looked up. Probably back to back swives. 20, 25 yards out. Inside of his left foot. It's quality finish. He's curling away.